Well, <laughs> here we are at Brands Hatch with uh, a fresh wind, which is bringing with it an enormous weather system. We had a look on the radar earlier. It's, um, <laughs> it's gonna start raining. Um, the previous session, which is the, um, the Super Cup, have just finished their qualifying session now, uh, and the rain is coming down. So fortunately for us, I am near the front. I am the third car lined up in the assembly area with two Class C Fiestas in front of me, which I'd hope, this being a Class B car, I'll be able to get past, get some space, and the aim will be to set a lap as fast as possible, um, uh, by which I mean, uh, yes, qualifying fast, but by which I mean as early as possible in the session, because I think the rain is coming, and I think the first flyer has the potential to be the quickest, which is an interesting challenge on a, uh, on a Saturday morning. I haven't driven Brands Hatch for around 18 months, and um, uh, the car is quite different to last time, so we'll have to be going by feel for the first couple of laps. Um, after I've done, oh, I don't know, maybe six, seven flyers, or, or as many as seems appropriate, I'll come in the pits and hand over to Rob Dowsett who enters his first, as his second race uh, ever on, in a car on a circuit and um, and his first on his home turf here at Brands Hatch. So, uh, I'm hoping most of all that he has a great day out. Um, but it'd be nice if we were on pole as well. See what we can do. You hear that?
I came down here to the assembly area on the wet tyres because it, it was really torrential. We saw the MSV uh, Super Cup, the race before us, go out for their green flag lap and the spray was ridiculous. I thought, okay, 40 minutes and I'm going to dry that circuit. It's still raining a bit. We'll go on the wet tyres, um, which I'd never done actually on a, on a 45 minute race before, I don't think. Um, and uh, then, it, then the sun came out and it started to dry just after a red flag delayed everything by half an hour. So now, now there's been a lot more drying time going on. We're sat in assembly on the wet tires and I look around and I can see a lot of semi-slicks and I'm thinking if it dries out by the end of the race, we could be in trouble. But um, there's just, uh, I'm shut the window because as you can see, uh, the rain's just come on. So I'm really excited. I think if we have it wet, wet, ideally not with the dangerous amount of spray we had in qualifying, but wet would be nice. And I think my co-driver would be pretty chuffed as well. Hi Rob, hi Rob. You want to say a few words? Um, a few words. Good, thank I'm you. So that, good that, was, that was perfect. You yeah, can yeah. I can tell you've done this um, before. This is not expected, this weather, is it? Not at all, no. The so radar really said, the, said the rain was gone, but I'm, I'm chuffed about it. Yeah. We'll see how we go. Yes. See you on the other side. Testing, testing, one, two. Oh wait, we didn't do any testing. Oh well. <laughs> Rob. Yeah. No, no. Follow my finger. Oh, hello. They can come up if they want. Okay, not a bad grid slot for the start of what looks like a very wet 45 minute race of Brands Hatch. Uh, the sky appears to be clearing and uh, the sun's out a little bit, but the circuit looks very wet and the lap times in the last race were 8 seconds down. So we are on our wet tyres. Let's see what it holds for us. As you can see, the, uh, the view is busy, the grid is tight here, we've got 34 cars. I am ninth on the grid, starting this 45 minute race in the top class after a very wet qualifying. Um, but I'm on the inside line, so if I get away decently in front of all of these front wheel drive cars I might be able to slot up, i just got to be careful I don't get squeezed against the wall. Um, from there on it's anyone's guess because the conditions are going to be developing lap by lap. So I'll have to try and preserve the car and hold position as best I can, work forward if I can, before handing over to Rob Dowsett who makes his racing debut on his home circuit, having done his first ever race uh, in August in this car, in this series, where we finished third overall. So we've got a strong, uh, a strong record to try and support today. We've got to move forward if we're going to do that. Let's see how we go.
And he got fucking third, didn't we? Yeah. I nearly got second, it was close. How did we get on? I think we did alright. Do you think we did alright? I think so, yeah. <laughs> um, We started ninth and after a seriously messy start where um, essentially I got a really good launch and unfortunately no one in front of me actually started the race. Yeah, Rocket so Man got boxed in. I just, yeah. I just got completely pinned. Lost a lot of time there. I ended up I think 14th after the first lap but we were fought back up to sick. I think we exited the pits after Rob came out in fifth because we did okay in the pit stop despite a bit of a mess getting the car cleaned and stored and going. Okay. Um, and then Rob quickly converted it into fourth and then in the dying minutes of the race after a short safety car, third. We are on the podium overall again from two hits. Rob's yeah. done two races. He's got a pop both times. How about that? And I think, in fact, I have to check the timesheets, but he has gone quicker than me both times as well. So you're not allowed back now, mate. That's it. I'm sorry. We're, we're done. It was nice.